Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I had a subscriber make a statement, which I'm going to flip in here for you guys. And uh, this young man said, uh, basically, under no means is 15 to 20% body fat considered to be fit. So, uh, let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing, do a little bit of crafting, and let's talk about this. Alright guys, this is the crazy world that we live in, in the online fitness community. All right, the crazy world that we live in in the online fitness community to where somehow people think that like bodybuilding competitive standards or something uh, have any determination of what fit is rather than what a medical doctor or a sports physician or someone would describe as fit. All right, fit means that you are healthy and athletic. That's fit. You're physically healthy and you're probably above average athleticism, meaning you can probably run faster, run further, lift more weight than the average person walking down the street. You blow them out of the water, all right? And your blood work looks good. You have no real health problems, all right? Athletic and healthy it has nothing to do with how aesthetic and shredded you are, bra. That has nothing to do with fitness. That's aesthetics, all right? That's how you look. You can be aesthetic and be unhealthy, all right? You can be aesthetic and use enormous amounts of cocaine and sleep one hour a night and just use tons of trembolone to gain muscle, okay? You can look aesthetic and do those things. Uh, same goes for women. Uh, women can smoke tons of cigarettes, eat a bad diet, maybe take Adderall to keep their appetite suppressed, get a little bit of liposuction and boob job and look aesthetic. But are they fit? No, they're not fit. If they don't have good blood work, their health markers don't look good, and they don't have good cardiovascular conditioning, strength, flexibility, things like that, you're not fit. That's what fitness is, guys. And this idea that being in the 15 to 20% body fat range is somehow unfit, um, have you guys watched many serious boxers or MMA fighters? you do realize there are champions in some of these contact sports that require speed, power, and conditioning that most of you don't possess, by the way. Most of the guys watching this, a lot of the so-called bodybuilders who watch this, they don't possess that level of fitness. You better go look at a body fat percentage picture chart and go look at a lot of those guys in the rings and you come back and tell me that they're not fit. I mean, you're, you're saying they're not fit? A whole lot of them are in that 15 plus range. A lot of them. Some of them are a lot more than that. I mean, I'm not going to get into all those. There are definitely guys uh, doing MMA and boxing and stuff at the world level who are over 25% body fat also, by the way. There are some out there. Might want to think about that for a minute. Now, we could argue that because maybe for some of them, their blood work might not look good. They're not that fit. But when it comes to conditioning and athleticism, you guys really think these guys aren't fit? What do you think fit means? Go look it up. Uh, that's fitness. Nothing to do with how you look. And that's the crazy thing is that people need to understand how healthy you are and athletic you are matters. And for a lot of you guys out there, if you're healthy and athletic and you train hard, particularly if you're drug free, really true for guys on no drugs. Go get your blood work done when you're 16% body fat. That'll put you in that range. So he said 15 to 20 is not. Go get tested, all right, with a DEXA scan. When you're around 16, 17% body fat, then diet down to 8% body fat or 9% and go get your health markers looked at. Go get a medical doctor to pull your blood work. You're going to notice sometimes your fasting glucose is going to be worse. Your resting heart rate is going to be worse. Particularly your testosterone levels and your thyroid levels are going to be worse. Your testosterone levels are going to be a lot lower. They might even drop to the unhealthy range. Your thyroid might drop to the unhealthy range when you drop to that body fat. And you confirm it on a DEXA scan. All right, You can get too lean. And I'm not saying a lot of people aren't fit and healthy at 10 to 12% because they are. Um, I don't want people to think that. But generally speaking, for someone who has a balanced diet and is equally active in terms of their cardiovascular conditioning, strength training, and everything else, most people are going to be healthier and therefore more fit at 16% body fat than they are going to be at 8%. All right, that's something people need to remember. People have this obsession with leanness to the point now to where they associate that with actually being a part of being fit. No, it's your aesthetics. And you have to separate the two. And it's almost like... 
the online aesthetics culture and aesthetics obsession has been so intermingled with the fitness world that people seem to think they're the same thing and they really aren't. And that's okay. I mean, if someone wants to be aesthetic, if that's your life dream in which you want to work towards is to be aesthetic, that's your business. That's your own business. You know what? If you're a mature adult making your own decisions, that's your right to decide. I'm not trying to take that away from you. I'm not trying to tell you that you're wrong. That is your choice to make. It's your life to live. But to come over and say that it's it has to do with fitness, that it's fit, and to tell people who are possibly more athletic than you, who are stronger than you, who do more cardio than you, that if they're at 18% body fat, that they're less fit than you are, you're full of fucking shit, dude. I mean, come on, think about that. That is full of shit. Just delusional. That's completely delusional. That if you honestly think <laughs> that if their health is better than yours and they're more athletic than you, that they're somehow less fit than you are because you, you are leaner than they are. Come on. That's not reality. That's a little delusion that's been created by a subculture that has a lot of body image issues. And when you're at the point to where you really and truly think that if you're 18% body fat, that you are fat and you see yourself at fat, you have a body image disorder. You have a body image disorder and you're probably going to be a lot healthier if you get counseling for that body image disorder than if you continue to live your life with that sort of mindset because 18% body fat for a male is perfectly healthy, particularly for a male who uh, works out. All right, that is there. You're not even close to a medical doctor looking at that body fat and saying, hey, you need to lose a few pounds of fat. No doctor's going to tell you that at 18%. And I'm not talking about the doc. People say, well, doctors don't know. Yeah, doctors do know what health is. They pull your blood work. They absolutely know what healthy is. They may not know what's going to give you the best bench press. They may not know what's going to give you the best squat or the best biceps. But they do know what healthy is. They know more about what healthy is than you do. I can promise you that. I can absolutely assure you the average medical doctor knows more about health than you do and what's going to keep you alive longer and keep you fit longer. All right? They do, they do understand these things. They may not always teach it right, but they do know that. They can pull your blood work and tell. And sorry, but men at 18% body fat who do cardio and lift weights and eat a decent diet, uh, usually their health markers are phenomenal they're going to tend to be phenomenal at that body fat range you rarely see men see any any negative changes in their health markers until they go over 20 percent body fat and a lot of men still have fantastic health markers at 25 percent if they're physically active all right you people need to understand that and they need to get out of this uh, bodybuilding delusion that's been created of this that it's your health and fitness is all about how lean you are. It's just not true. There's no truth to that. Yeah, you don't want to be obese. You don't want to have too much fat and because that will harm your health. But, you know, you can be fit and athletic without being ripped. And, in fact, many guys who are ripped are not as fit or as athletic as you might think they are. Uh, because they often starve themselves to death and use excessive amounts of drugs to get there. Many of them have, and they're not as fit or athletic as you think they are. And I'm not saying there aren't some who are, because there clearly are. But I met plenty of guys who you guys would think of as having that certain look who really aren't as athletic or healthy as, as you might imagine that they are. They really aren't. Their blood work doesn't always look that good. They have high blood pressure, um, low testosterone, low thyroid. Uh, they don't have the best conditioning in the world. You'd be surprised. So uh, it's really sad that people actually have this mindset that they actually can't believe that 15 to 20 percent body fat for a, an athletic male isn't well within the healthy body fat range or that it's not fit. It's just insane. And I think it's really scary in a lot of ways because it really pushes a lot of young men away from what actual health and fitness is. And the worst part is it's only because these crazy standards on the internet created by the bodybuilding world competitive bodybuilding world has created this if you were to step back and go back 50 years in time and look at some of the the um mr universes and things in previous eras go back to the 50s and 60s plenty of those guys when you see photos of them are 15 percent or higher body fat when you go back and look at them 
Uh, it's not uncommon and they're out posing on the beach and everything walking around at 16 17 percent body fat and you know what a lot of them even at contest time didn't go under 12 to 13 percent you didn't see guys under 10 percent body fat in even the bodybuilding world until well into the 60s uh, and it didn't even become common i don't think until the 70s uh, so just food for thought there guys uh, it, the guys were not as lean even back then as you think they are. We have this crazy hysteria today due to the internet with being ripped as somehow being a part of fitness. And it really isn't. It is really, in a way, it is anti-fitness. All right, guys. But that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.